This is another one of those random occasional times where I decide to pop up suddenly with a new video after disappearing from the platform for months. <sighs> but I promise that's going to change very soon. And in this video, you're going to find out how. Yeah, so now I'm going to explain to you what's actually going on here. If you're not new to my channel and you've seen my older videos, you'd notice that I always record in my living room. In fact, I had my entire desk set up there, but of course, it being a living room, I was constantly interrupted during my recordings by guests. And there was overall a lot of noise coming from the outside because it's all glass and there's nothing to really absorb all of that noise. But I still kept recording there because that room had the best aesthetics and also sounded way better than the other rooms in the house because it was large, had a lot of surfaces to diffuse the sound, and also had current all around to absorb the reverb. I really stress the importance of good audio in my videos because it really levels up the production quality of the final thing and also makes me seem way more professional than I really am. Now being the second child with no privacy whatsoever, I never really had a room of my own. I slept in the same room as my sister before and after she got a room of her own, I still slept there. But it really wasn't a great room to convert into a studio because it had four doors so it was not good audio at all. Well comparatively anyway because the old living room in our house which wasn't being used at the moment had three doors had huge empty walls which is both a good and a bad thing good because i can get crazy with it and decorate it however i want to in the future because there's lots of headroom to experiment bad because bare walls are notorious for reflecting sound and that means a lot of reverb it was on my mind for a long time to shift into this room and personalize it into my own bedroom studio, but I didn't have the time, patience or the money to do it. Until I decided to just do it recently and this was just a week before my final exams. <laughs> So the first step for me was to roughly plan out the layout for the room. I created this basic 3D block out of my room in Blender with fairly accurate real life measurements. I decided to put my workstation desk over on this side and have this big wall as the background for my video so that I can decorate it progressively and keep leveling up the aesthetics in my videos. I love to have my bed in tight corners because I feel very cozy that way. Yes, I know I'm weird. So the obvious spot was right here and that's where my bed is. The last wall will have my study table which is messy 24 7 and will never appear in the video so it doesn't really matter. I haven't modeled a block out for it here because I might just get rid of it when I upgrade my current desk to a bigger one. So that's the plan, a complete overhaul compared to what this room was. I wanted to start off by painting the walls because yellow and green are the absolute worst colors I could imagine my studio having. I gave it some thought and went with grey for the two walls and Prussian teal for the other two just for a little bit of color while still keeping it dark and moody. Now of course I really wanted to have some RGB lighting and I found the perfect strip to span three sides of this background wall in this fashion which I thought looked pretty cool. It's controlled using an app and you can also link it to Google Home to control it using your voice. For the installation, instead of directly putting on the RGB strips on the wall, I bought these RGB diffuser channels off of Amazon which is basically a set of 10 1 meter aluminum channels with this milky white plastic channel that goes on top of it to diffuse the light and make it less spotty and more like a continuous neon light. Looks great on video even though some of the spots are still kind of visible in real life but it's still better than putting the strip directly on the wall. Now this was just the accent lighting, just the flare. The key light that I'll be using in my videos is the one that I showed in the intro which is the Godox SL60. I also got a softbox to diffuse this light further and get that really nice soft lighting in my videos. So visuals wise we've got the basic stuff down. I'll probably be getting some lamps and other practical lights to make the lighting even better in the future but this will do for now. And of course as I keep decorating the walls in my room, it'll start looking more personalized and homely. Now audio wise, we're not doing that great yet. I researched for some time on this topic about the different acoustic treatment options I had on a budget and I decided to go for acoustic panels in the end. But instead of buying those ready made ones, I just bought 6 slabs of rock wool, the insulating stuff that goes inside the acoustic panels that actually absorbs all of the sound. Basically, you can make your own acoustic panels by creating wooden frames to put your rock wool inside and then cover up both the sides using an acoustically transparent fabric such as linen, muslin or burlap. Anyway, I planned out how I wanted the 6 acoustic panels to be laid out in my room with my friend Tech and this is what I came up with in the end. This is the best layout I could think of that looks good while still having maximum effectiveness as I've learned by watching numerous videos on this topic. The idea is that since I'll be recording sitting in front of my desk the majority of the time, I need to treat the first reflection points which are directly in front of me on the wall behind the desk. I kept the spacing here and put two panels on the opposite wall to treat the parallel waves. For reference, each panel is 
is 4 feet by 2 feet in size. I'm also planning to put up thick curtains covering each door to further absorb the reverb. There should already be enough treatment I believe, but if I still get a lot of reverb, I'll be installing some bass traps at each of the 4 corners of the room. That definitely ought to get the job done. Now since I had zero carpentry skills, I thought it would be a good idea to just hire someone to help me make the frames, after which I should be able to take care of the rest. For the fabric, I chose muslin for the front part which would allow the sound to pass through relatively easily and also had this dark color which would fit my room the best, while also not being too visually transparent. Something like burlap probably would have worked better, but it only came in beige, red and green colors which I really wasn't a fan of. For the back part, I just picked up the cheapest, lightest fabric I could find because it's just going to be used so that the rock wool fibers don't come out and leak into the environment as they're quite bad for your health. For the wood, I got 12 and 18 slabs of the following dimensions as instructed by the carpenter so I'm just relying on him for this part. Now that the boring details are out of the way, here's what the process of making them looks like. Now once all of them were done, I put them up on the wall like so, ensuring that there is a little bit of air gap to trap more of the low frequencies that give the room that nasty reverb. This is more prominent in the corners of the room where you can usually place bass traps to absorb those but yeah, like I said earlier in the video, this should be enough for my needs now. Now here's a little before and after of what my room sounds like with and without the panels up. Mic test up close without any acoustic treatment. Mic test a little bit farther from the microphone. Ha! Ha! Mic test up close with acoustic treatment. And now I'm a bit farther from the microphone. Ha! 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 Now that covers the audio part as well. I haven't bought the curtains yet so it still isn't complete according to my plan but this already sounds way better than before in my opinion. And if I ever need an even higher quality recording, I always have that pillow and blanket audio boost that I've been using for my videos where I don't show myself. Speaking of which, it's time for the final review. I'm just kidding guys. I did one of these rickrolls on April Fools and everybody was so pissed at me for getting them all excited about a new upload and then just disappointing them with a rickroll. <laughs> but yeah, this is what it looks like. I kinda like this angle so I'll probably be using this one for most of my videos. But you know, I might switch it up occasionally once my room is complete, just to keep things a bit fresh. I still have a lot of upgrades left, primarily the desk because I'm not really finding this one very spacious because it's only 4 feet long. I'll be keeping you guys updated about the setup on Instagram. So so if you're interested to see the behind the scenes of my videos, then I highly advise that you follow me there if you haven't already. Also comment your thoughts down below on the progress so far and I'll also be glad to hear your suggestions on what stuff to add to this room to make it even better if you've got any cool ideas. Now this is basically it for this video. I'm really looking forward to using this setup in my future videos and just seeing how much of a difference it actually makes in my speed because I really do find myself spending a lot of unnecessary time setting things up before the recording. Hopefully this setup streamlines that a bit. I might also just start doing some live streams soon and this place will be obviously just great for it and of course I have been using this as my bedroom ever since I painted the walls and I have to say I find it really cozy. <laughs> the only drawback I'd say here is that there is a lack of natural light coming into the room but I'm out for school in the morning anyway so I don't really have a problem regarding getting some vitamin D. Anyway let's not stretch this video longer than it needs to be and call it done right here. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video. Shakespeare would have wrote it, yeah.